Sandy with Calvert Library and welcome to a very special edition of Silly Story Saturday. Why so special you ask? Well it's the first day of summer. You didn't know? Well it's the first day of summer for Calvert Library because it is June 20th and that's the first day of our Calvert Read Summer Challenge. We hope that everyone is going to participate this summer and do lots and lots of reading. And we have a special way to kick it off. Just after this, starting at noon, you can watch our summer kickoff live on YouTube, on Facebook, and right from our webpage. So we hope that you tune in from 12 to 3 to hear all about our summer program and for some very special guests too. So our theme this year is Imagine Your Story. So I thought I'd read a special kind of a story that's called a fable. A fable is a story that teaches you a lesson. But I can't just read a regular fable, right? It has to be a silly fable because it's Silly Story Saturday, right? So I thought that I would read this one. This is called Chicken Big. Maybe you've heard a story called Chicken Little. This one's called Chicken Big, and it's one of my very favorite stories. Uh, this, this book was written and illustrated by Keith Graves, and we want to say a special thank you to the publisher, Chronicle Books, for allowing us to read it to you today. So let's take a look. Oh, look, this book starts before the first page even. Let's see what it says. What should we call this book? How about Chicken Kind of Large? Or Chicken Tall? No, 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 Chicken Salad. Wait, I'm having a brainstorm. Let's call it Chicken Big. That's it. On a teeny little farm in an itty bitty coop, a very small hen laid a big, humongous egg. Look! The egg began to shake. The egg began to quake. And out popped a big, humongous chick. What is it? crowed the little rooster. It's big, clucked the small chicken. It's enormous, clucked the smaller chicken. It's an elephant! peeped the smallest chicken. She was not the sharpest beak in the flock. He's too big to stay in our itty bitty coop, crowed the little rooster. Much, much too big, clucked the small chicken. He'll break the floor, clucked the smaller chicken. Indoor elephants are dangerous, squawked the smallest chicken. I don't feel like an elephant, thought the big chick. I wish I were a chicken. The next day, an acorn fell and conked the smallest chicken on the head. The sky is falling, she peeped. Run for your lives! So the chickens ran for their lives. Don't worry, said the big humongous chick. It's only an acorn. They're actually quite tasty. I don't think elephants eat acorns, said the little rooster. I heard they only eat popcorn, clucked the small chicken. Maybe he's not an elephant, clucked the smaller chicken. The smallest chicken looked closely at the big humongous chick. Ah, oh, I'm my mistake, she peeped. He must be a squirrel. A squirrel, thought the big humongous chick. Later on, the smallest chicken was pecking for worms when a raindrop splatted on the top of her head. The sky is leaking, she peeped. We'll all drown. Run for your lives. And the chickens ran for their lives again. Relax, said the big humongous chick. It's only rain. Come stand under my wings and you will stay dry. I've never seen a squirrel do that, crowed the little rooster. Not very squirrelish at all, clucked the small chicken. Squirrels don't keep you dry in the rain, clucked the smaller chicken. I see what you're saying, peeped the smallest chicken. Apparently, he's an umbrella. These are not bright chickens, thought the big chick. After a while, a chilly wind began to blow. Someone has put the world in the refrigerator, peeped the smallest chick. We're all going to freeze! Run for your lives! But they didn't get far. 
Don't panic, said the big humongous chick. It's only the north wind. Stand behind me and I will protect you. The chickens all felt much better. An umbrella would have turned inside out in this wind, crowed the little rooster. He's not inside out as far as I can tell, clucked the small chicken. I'm all warm and comfy now, clucked the smaller chicken. Only one thing makes me feel this way, peeped the smallest chicken. Plainly, this fellow is a sweater. This is getting ridiculous, thought the big humongous chick. At nap time, the little chickens returned to the coop and found all their eggs were gone. We've been robbed, crowed the little rooster. By an egg burglar, clucked the small chicken. Woe is me, clucked the smaller chicken. Woe is me too, peeped the smallest chicken. And all the chickens began to boo hoo hoo. But the big humongous chick saw a sneaky red fox carrying the eggs into his den a mile away. Oh no, you don't. With three giant hop, hop, hops, the big humongous chick caught up to the fox just as he was about to make himself a scrambled egg supper. Yikes, said the fox, a hippopotamus. I don't think so, said the big humongous chick, but you are a naughty thief. The frightened fox ran away with his tail between his legs, having lost all interest in poultry. In no time, the big chick was stomping back to the coop with the missing eggs. Our babies, cried the happy little chickens. Our hero, they all clucked. Yay! I knew it all along, crowed the little rooster. He's no elephant. He's definitely not a squirrel, clucked the small chicken. He's surely no umbrella, clucked the smaller chicken. He couldn't be a sweater, peeped the smallest chicken. Only one thing could be so smart, so kind, so warm, and so brave. Clearly, he's a cow. No, said the others. He's a chicken. The big humongous chick was thrilled to find out that he was a chicken after all. Oh, thank goodness, he said. Now I can move back into the coop. Actually, it's a rather small coop, crowed the little rooster. It's itty bitty, clucked the small chicken. Teensy weensy, clucked the smaller chicken. But we'll make room, peeped the smallest chicken. He still sounds like an elephant. The end. It still sounds like an elephant. That is pretty silly. Well, we hope that you enjoyed the story today and please come on back at noon so that you can join us live to help us kick off our 2020 Calvert Reads Summer Challenge. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.